Hello everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Let us discuss how to visualize, name, and describe polygons with five or more sides. Let us study the following figures. So we have this figure 1, figure 2, and figure 3. What do you think is the similarity of the following figures? They are closed plane figure bounded by a straight line. So these are the similarities of these figures. So sila ay mga closed figure na bounded ng mga straight line. What kind of figures are they? So alam niyo ba kung anong klaseng figure sila? Yes, they are polygons. Since alam na natin na sila ay mga polygon, what is a polygon? A polygon is a closed plane figure bounded by straight lines. So yun nga, dapat ang polygon ay closed plane figure na bounded ng straight lines or pinagdudugtong-dugtong sila ng mga line segments or straight lines. So let's study the different polygons and their characteristics. So itong polygon na inyong nakikita is a pentagon. So, ano ba ang karakteristik ng isang pentagon? Ang pentagon ay may five sides. So, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Meron din siyang five vertices. Ano ba yung vertices? Let's count the vertices. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so since we already know or found out that a pentagon has five sides and five vertices, ano ba ang vertices? So ang vertices, ang singular form niya is vertex. Vertex typically means a corner or a point where lines meet. So ito yung point kung saan nag-meet yung mga sides or yung line. And the plural form of vertex is vertices. Another characteristic of a pentagon is it has five diagonals. So, ano ba ang diagonals? A diagonal of a polygon is a line segment whose endpoints are any two non-consecutive vertices of the polygon. We name diagonals using the two endpoints. So, line segment siya kung saan Hindi, uh, hindi daw magkasunod yung dalawang points na yon So, pan, papakita natin yan dito sa ating pentagon. Okay, so, narito ang five diagonals sa pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. So, nakita nyo na para tayong nakabuo ng star. And also, another characteristic of a, of a pentagon is the sum of interior angles is 540 degrees. So, from the previous lesson, we have learned that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, while sa quadrilaterals naman ay 360 degrees. So, mamaya, i-discuss natin kung paano ba natin compute ang interior angles or sum ng interior angles ng mga polygon. Okay, so let's now proceed on the next polygon, which is a hexagon. So, ano-ano ang mga karakteristics ng hexagon? Hexagon has six sides. So, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, when someone asks you what polygon has six sides, so, ang, ang isasagot nyo is hexagon. Then, bukod sa six sides, meron din siyang six vertices or sulo. At meron siyang nine diagonals. So, alam niyo na kung paano kunin yung diagonals. And the sum of interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees. Another polygon is a heptagon. Ano naman ang karakteristik ng isang heptagon? A heptagon has seven sides. So, let's count. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 
And another characteristic is kung meron siyang 7 sides, meron siyang syempre 7 vertices. And ang kanyang diagonals ay 14. And the sum of the interior angles of a heptagon is 900 degrees. Okay, so let's now proceed on the next polygon, which is an octagon. An octagon has eight sides. So as you can see, meron siyang eight sides and it has eight vertices. Then, 20 ang kanyang diagonal. So kung napapansin nyo, habang dumadami yung sides ng isang polygon, dumadami din yung kanyang diagonal. And the sum of the interior angles of, it, of an octagon is 1,080 degrees. Okay, another polygon is a nonagon. So, ano-ano ang characteristics ng nonagon? A nonagon has 9 sides and it also has 9 vertices. Then, 27 yung kanyang diagonals. And the sum of interior angles of a nonagon is 1,260 degrees. So, kung napapansin nyo, habang dumadami yung sides or yung bilang ng sides ng isang polygon, dumadami din or lumalaki din yung sum ng kanyang interior angle. Next is a decagon. A decagon is a 10-sided polygon. Then, ang kanyang sides at 10 din ang kanyang vertices. Then, ang number ng kanyang diagonals ay 35. And the sum of the interior angles is 1,440 degrees. Next is the undecagon. Ang undecagon ay merong 11 sides, meron siyang 11 vertices, at 44 ang bilang ng kanyang diagonals. Then, the sum of the interior angles of an decagon is 1,620 degrees. Next is the decagon. And the decagon has 12 sides and it also has 12 vertices and 54 diagonals. So, ang sum naman ng kanyang interior angles is 1,800 degrees. So, these are the different kinds of polygons with 5 or more sides. We have the pentagon with 5 sides, the hexagon with 6 sides, the heptagon with 7 sides, the octagon with 8 sides, the nonagon with 9 sides, decagon with 10 sides, and decagon with 11 sides, and that the decagon with 12 sides. Always remember that polygons are identified according to the number of sides. So, uh, kailangan dito alam nyo or memorize nyo ano ba ang tawag doon sa mga polygons starting from the 3-sided polygons, a polygon up to the 12-sided polygon. Okay, so since you already know the different kinds of polygons uh, from 5 sides up to 12 sides, so let's now compute the exterior angles of the polygon. So let's study the table of the interior and exterior angles of polygons. So on the first column, ito yung mga different kinds of polygon. Then, on the second column, yung mga sides niya, or number of sides. And on the third column, it is the sum of interior angles. And we're going to apply or use this formula, open and close parentheses, n minus 2, times 180 degrees, where n is or represents the number of sides. Then, uh, each interior angle of regular polygon. So, pag sinabing regular polygon, same sila ng measurement ng mga sides. So, dapat pare-pareho yung suwat ng kanyang sides. So, this is only applicable to uh, regular polygon. Then, ang sum of ex exterior angles ng mga polygon ay laging 360 degrees. So, what is an interior angle? Interior angles are measures from one side to an adjacent one inside the polygon. 
So, kaya nga sinabing interior, ibig sabihin, siya yung angle na nasa loob ng polygon. Then, exterior angles naman are measures from the adjacent side to an extended external line from the polygon. So, exterior, exterior angles mean it, ito yung angle sa labas ng polygon. So, let's now proceed on solving the sum of interior angles of an andecagon. So, when we say andecagon, it has 11 sides. So, to get the sum of interior angles of andecagon, we're going to apply this formula, open and close parentheses, and minus 2, multiply natin sa 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides. So, ilan ba yung sides ng andecagon? K11. Okay, so since ang andecagon ay may 11 sides, isa substitute natin yung 11 dito sa n. So, magiging 11 minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. So, 11 minus 2, una muna nating isisimplify yung nasa loob ng parentheses. So, 11 minus 2 is 9, then we can multiply it by 180 degrees. So, the product, when we multiply the two factors, is 1,620 degrees. So, don't forget to write yung uh, degree symbol. Kasi kapag wala kang degree symbol, that is incorrect. Okay? Therefore, ang sum ng interior angles ng ating andekagon is 1,620 degrees. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned something from this video and don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Thank you so much.